everybody, no matter how old or young they are, should know the art of self-defense, male or female, especially when you're living in a very brutal society. Uh, you should know how to defend yourself. And anybody who teaches Negroes today to turn the other cheek is, is actually uh, committing a crime. Anyone who teaches Negroes to love those who hate him is actually making the Negro co go contrary to the law of nature and making the Negro go contrary to his own intelligence. And my remark concerning the rifles uh, was based upon the, the Constitution where it says that everybody has a right to own uh, weapons and can defend himself when he's attacked. The Constitution of this government uh, gives you the right to own a weapon. And I said that in areas of this country where the government has proven itself either unable or unwilling to defend Negroes, it's time for the Negro to defend himself. Uh, when, you, when you are in a, in a civilization or a society or a government in 1964 where your churches can be bombed and your little girls be murdered and you can't do anything about it, then you need to crawl down the sewer. You don't even need to wait to be flushed. So uh, there is nothing wrong with what I said, and there's nothing criminal or against the law in what I said. White people def defend themselves, black people should defend themselves. This doesn't mean that we should take a rifle and go out and initiate acts of aggression. But uh, I used to be a burglar, and I burglarized the home, and when I was a Christian, I was a burglar. And uh, uh, I, uh, uh, that in, and in that capacity, I was able to enter the home of many white people. And never did I enter a home where there wasn't, wasn't a rifle or a shotgun. They'd been armed a long time. So uh, this is why they're so upset when they see you telling the Negro to get the same thing that they have. Just get a rifle and a shotgun, but don't attack anybody with it. But if anybody makes any kind of move whatsoever to violate your property or the lives of your family, you should die like a man, no matter what the odds against you are. Life. But they, they, make, they take the Negro and, and disarm him of his intelligence by telling him to turn the other cheek. He should be peaceful, he should be law-abiding. But at any time anybody tries to make him the victim of brutality, he should retaliate with the maximum force at his disposal. No matter what the odds against him are, he should retaliate. And the only ones who are going to start telling him that the odds against him are too great are these Negro Uncle Toms. Well, if a Negro can be drafted and sent to Korea to face 800 million Chinese, I don't know where any greater odds are than that. So it's better for him to do it right here at home, die like a man, and then by the members of your rifle club, if there is such a thing. Whatever I haven't mentioned, whatever is necessary, I'm flexible, and they should keep flexibility. Whatever, whenever the government hasn't done its part, then it's up to the people to do their part. Where has the government not done its part? Put it that way. Uh, uh, the church was bombed in, in Birmingham. Four little girls were murdered. Who, where are the murderers? Uh, Medgar Evers was shot in the back. Where is his murderer? Uh, Emmett Till, uh, Charles Mack Parker, uh, and two little boys were shot down right after the church was bombed. All of this happened right after the March on Washington. Where was the government? All the government did was send a football coach uh, down to look into the matter. No, the government has broken down. So the Negro, who today is saying he's going to retaliate, should not, the burden shouldn't be upon us. The burden is on the government. Let the government do its job, and then it won't have to worry about things getting out of hand.